When a pregnant dog cries just before she's about to be put down, the vet is shocked at the reason. What happens next will melt your heart. Nova whimpered and whined, and the vet couldn't control his emotions. Despite having done this procedure many times, it never got any easier, and hearing the pregnant dog cry just before she was about to be put down broke his heart. He wished the outlook for Nova had been better. He would have liked nothing more than for her to have a loving family, but sadly, it wasn't meant to be. He approached the dog and whispered kind words, hoping to soothe her and make her last moments as peaceful as possible. But Nova's crying continued, and the vet sensed something wasn't right. He placed the syringe on the tray and examined the dog more closely. She'd been so calm up until now, if not a little nervy, but now every time the vet touched her, she seemed irritable and restless. He gently touched her belly and pulled his hand back in shock. There could only be one explanation the vet could come up with. Everyone had believed the puppies had passed away due to their mom's ill health, but it seemed like something was moving inside Nova. But how is it even possible? The shelter had seen a lot of heartbreaking cases over the years, but when Nova arrived one dark and freezing morning, there wasn't a single person who didn't shed a tear over her situation. The dog had been brought in by a kind member of the public who had seen her wandering the streets over the last few weeks. He'd been putting food out for her but noticed that her belly kept getting bigger even though she hardly ever ate. This made him suspect that she was pregnant. When the vet examined her, it was clear she'd lived on the streets for some time due to her dull and dirty fur. He also confirmed that she was pregnant, but the examination brought to light something even more heartbreaking. Nova's little body was covered in deadly tumors and her ultrasound showed no movement from her puppies. She'd been fighting so hard with her illness that she hadn't had enough energy to save her puppies as well as herself. Nova was a sweet and loving little dog, and everyone at the shelter had instantly fallen in love with her, so hearing the sad news was devastating. They'd all hoped the poor dog would get a second chance at living with a family after such a tough time on the streets. But with the advanced state of her illness and the lifeless puppies, they knew they'd never be able to rehome her now. No one wanted a dog that only had a few months at best left to live. The kindest thing to do was to put her down. The sweet dog was made as comfortable as possible for the next few days, as the vet already had a full schedule of procedures. All the shelter staff made sure that Nova's final days were comfortable. There was rarely a moment when the dog was alone, as they showered her with love and treats, hoping she'd have some happiness before being put down. Nova's sweet personality shone through even more, which made the choice to put her down even harder. Her calm temperament led many of the workers to believe that the little dog must have had a home at some point in her life, and they wondered what had happened to leave her living on the streets. On the morning she was scheduled to be put down, Nova's behavior seemed to have changed, as though she knew something was about to happen. She could probably sense the sadness from the staff and was reacting to the tension. Everyone at the shelter came to say goodbye to the sweet dog, and there wasn't a dry eye around. Nova had only been with them for a short while, but she was one of the dogs they would remember for a long time. As the vet prepared for the procedure, the little dog lay on the examination table, being lovingly stroked by one of the veterinary nurses. The poor dog whined and whimpered, and the vet could feel the tears in his eyes. It was a straightforward procedure, but some animals had such an impact that it made it difficult to go through with it. Nova was one of those animals. The dog was crying now, and the vet tried to soothe her, but something felt off. She was angry and irritable, 
which wasn't like her at all. Following his intuition, the vet decided that one last examination wouldn't hurt. But as soon as he placed his hands on her, Nova snapped at him for no reason. Calmly, he shushed her and carefully continued with his checks. He gently touched her belly, then quickly pulled his hand away and looked at the nurse in complete shock. This can't be, he said to the nurse in total disbelief. The nurse, not knowing what to make of the vent's sudden reaction, put her hand on Nova's belly too. Can you feel it? he asked. With a decisive nod, she confirmed the vet's shocking discovery. They'd felt movement in her stomach, and combined with her irritability, there was only one explanation. She was in labor. How had he gotten it so wrong? Everyone had seen the ultrasound showing that the puppies had passed away. No one had been surprised given Nova's ill health. It seemed like a miracle had happened as the puppies still clung to life. This changed everything. Instead of putting Nova down, it was suddenly all systems go to prepare for the birth of her puppies. No one had any idea if Nova was even strong enough to go through with it, but her fight and determination spurred everyone on and gave them a new sense of hope. With everyone rallying around to help, Nova eventually gave birth to three puppies, and even though they were a little on the small side, they seemed to be perfectly healthy. No one could believe it. Now the question remained, what to do with Nova? The puppies needed their mom, but did she have enough strength left to raise them until they were old enough to be adopted? But their fears were proven wrong, as the little dog had taken to motherhood straight away and was caring for her puppies as well as anyone could have hoped. This encouraged the vet to take a new course of action to treat her illness so that she could continue to care for her puppies. In between nursing her pups, Nova had more tests done, and once the vet had analyzed the results, he prescribed a cocktail of drugs that would keep her symptoms at bay and ensure she was as happy and comfortable as possible. If the drugs worked, Nova would get the opportunity to be with her puppies until it was time to find them new homes. Everyone crossed their fingers and hoped for the best. When the little dog started responding well to the medication, everyone at the shelter was very happy. Nova had surprised them all once again with her fight and determination. However, this just made it harder to accept that she'd never get to live out her final days with a loving family. Nova was the best mom to her puppies, and soon they'd all grown up into fit and strong little bundles of energy. The search was on to find them new homes. Everyone at the shelter knew it wouldn't take long, because most people were looking to adopt young dogs. It was rare for people to want older dogs or those with medical conditions. It was a bittersweet moment because even though everyone felt happy for the puppies going to new homes, they knew that this wasn't possible for Nova and that her time would soon be up. On the day that the last of the puppies was adopted, a young couple came to the shelter looking to adopt their first dog together. Marty and Tim had both grown up with dogs and had recently moved into their first home. Once they'd settled, they knew it was time to add a dog to their little family. Everyone at the shelter sensed the couple would be looking for a puppy or a young dog to grow with their family, so they weren't surprised when they began to fuss over the younger dogs. But Marty and Tim were diligent in their search and wanted to meet all the dogs to make sure they found the perfect match. When they came across Nova's kennel, they stopped and fussed over the sweet little dog and began asking questions about her. The shelter staff explained Nova's story about the pups and the tumors. They said she wasn't available for adoption as she was terminally ill with only a few months left to live. Her cocktail of drugs was expensive, and there was always the chance that they would stop working. But the couple didn't seem put off by any of the information and spent some more time fussing over Nova. They'd both fallen in love, and even though she wasn't the type of dog they had originally planned to adopt, 
They knew that they wanted to give her a wonderful end to her life, regardless of the cost. To everyone's surprise, Marnie asked if the shelter would be willing to put Nova up for adoption if someone could cover her medical expenses. They agreed that they would, as they had all wished for Nova to have a happy end to her life, and she was finally being given this opportunity. The vet informed the couple about her medication and the cost, and the couple took it all in stride. Neither of them could imagine leaving without Nova. She'd fought so hard to live, so she deserved to spend her final days surrounded by comfort and love. Even if she were only with them for a few months, they'd make sure it was the best few months of her life. Later that day, Marnie and Tim walked away from the shelter with Nova. Neither of them could quite believe what they'd done. They had indeed gone to the shelter, planning to adopt a young dog that would spend many years with them. But as soon as they'd seen Nova, they'd just known they were right for each other. They knew that caring for a terminally ill dog wouldn't be smooth sailing, but they felt grateful that they could give her a second chance when she needed it the most. The next day, Marnie set up various social media accounts for Nova to share her journey and raise awareness about the importance of adopting animals with medical needs. The shelter had told the couple that they hadn't advertised Nova's adoption because no one ever wanted to take on ill animals, especially when they didn't have long left. Marnie understood why people were reluctant. It could be expensive, but Nova had only been with them for 24 hours and the couple had already seen a huge change in her. This made their decision even more rewarding. She loved playing with her toys and when she felt tired, she would find one of them to snuggle up to and have a nap. Aside from getting a little more tired and needing regular medication, Nova was no different from any other dog, and she quickly settled into her new home. But Marnie and Tim weren't the only ones to fall in love with the little dog. Nova's social media accounts grew rapidly, with everyone praising the couple for their selfless act. Marnie didn't want praise, but if she could just get a few people to consider adopting older or sick animals, then she'd be happy. Documenting Nova's final few months would show people what a difference they could make to an animal's life by giving them such loved-filled last few days. The couple never expected that the social media accounts would end up revealing surprising details from Nova's past, and what happens next will melt your heart. One morning, Marnie was lying on the sofa having cuddles with Nova when a message came through on one of the social media accounts. It wasn't unusual. There were often lots of messages asking for advice or just wishing them all well. But when Marnie opened this message, she nearly dropped her phone in shock. She shouted for Tim to come downstairs and showed him the message. The couple looked at each other in disbelief. A young woman named Alice sent a photo of a dog that looked just like Nova, explaining that her grandfather had owned the dog in the photo. However, when he passed away, the dog escaped from his home and never returned. When she saw Nova's social media account and read her backstory, she was shocked to learn that the dog had been taken to a shelter just two blocks away from her grandfather's home. She couldn't help but think that Nova might be her grandfather's lost dog. Marnie quickly typed back to Alice and asked if she'd like to meet up at some point with Nova. The little dog couldn't walk very far anymore, but she loved a trip to the park, so the next day, the couple arranged to meet up and bring the dog with them. If the dog in the photo was actually Nova, they'd not only have the opportunity to learn more about her past, but Alice would also be reunited with her grandfather's long-lost pet. This was incredible. The power of social media had worked its magic. As soon as Alice and Nova saw each other, there was no doubt in anyone's mind that they knew each other. Nova began to wag her tail excitedly and jumped up on Alice as soon as the young woman was close enough. She burst into tears 
as she showed the couple even more photos of her grandfather's dog. The markings of the dog in the photo perfectly matched Nova's. It was a relief to know that the dog once had a loving home and someone who cared for her. She must have been so scared and confused when her owner passed away. Alice explained that after Nova had run away, she'd spent months looking for her, but she never had any luck. It broke her heart to think of her living on the streets all that time and then getting ill. She told Marnie and Tim that she was so grateful to them for giving Nova a second chance at being loved. For the next few months, the couple met up with Alice once or twice a week so she could see Nova. When the little dog became too tired to go on trips to the park, Alice started coming to their house instead. Four months after Marnie and Tim adopted Nova, she passed away peacefully in her sleep in her favorite bed. The couple was heartbroken, but they knew they had given her an amazing few months, which Alice had made even better. When the time was right, they knew they'd do it all again and adopt another old or sick dog, but for now they needed some time to grieve for Nova. Alice continued regularly meeting up for lunch or coffee with the couple. Even with Nova gone, they all found that they'd formed a strong friendship that wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for the little dog. Alice had recently moved into her first home and was even looking at following in their footsteps and adopting an older dog. Marnie and Tim would be forever grateful for everything Nova had given them. Now, it's over to you. What did you think of this story? Would you consider adopting an old or sick animal? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.